big mark taken, and I think it will be paid. Great grab oh. for Green. Went early. Tiny little. So Green now to finish it off. Directly in front. There it is. First goal of the game. Got it. Well done, Toby Green. Sensational stuff. As we mentioned before, just come out. They need to be have that structure forward of the footy. Hopper. Sold some candy there to Green. Did it really well. And then just coolly slots the goal as well. Magnificent control. Win the territory battle. Handball comes to Steele. Has a long go at it. And Billings did well to dive. Forward craft. He saw caught Ash Ball watching and he snuck Hi out on. the back. Here he is on his non-preferred. Made it look easy. The first for the Saints with just four minutes remaining. Butler put on a nice little step and that was a really high quality kick and they're paying 50 immediately. Just down to the next umpire on the line. So an immediate call of 50 metres, Jimmy, for the push in the back. Yep, dumped him after he Young took field. the mark. It was unnecessary and it's turned what would have been yeah, a very... Forward. They love this. A certain goal coming up for the Saints. And Jack Loney's the man. From that distance, Con Connor Iden. Here's Toby Green. Something special normally happens when he's got ball in And Look at that. To Bobby Hill. It was the left foot... This young man was nominated for both goal and mark of the round last year. He's a talent Bobby Hill and he makes no mistake a number of those already well, haven't been as direct as they'd normally be and here's a little fumble allows Higgins to pick it up left foot snap around the corner think he's got it no Phil Davis is saying it's hit the top of the post now this will be interesting bombs a long ball down the line Matt Flynn just connect with it now that's well played Brilliantly done, Bradley Hill, and he's going to slide it through. It's going to slide perfectly. He summed that up beautifully, Bradley Hill, and that's a big goal just before halftime. Okay, Matt Stevick right under that. And in the meantime, Steele was able to send them along, and this may be another three. Tim Membro, arms around. Straight to him. There you are, where you are there. So that was, I think, out. Give them a nice little break. Get it out to 14 points. As we approach the half-time break, Tim Membry from directly in front shouldn't have any trouble, and he doesn't. So a 14-point margin for the Saints is a pretty big margin in these conditions. Can they get a late goal? Jack Buckley sends it in the Himmelberg direction, who came out full-chested. And they desperately needed this to GWS. 15 goals last year. He's more than capable hitting the scoreboard and they got one against the run of play Harry Himmelberg stood up quarter for nearly O well executed tackle he's opened the door now for Himmelberg looks in board got a nice shepherd still wants to feed it off Canelio ran on goal coming up Canelio stuck at home well played releasing handball in front Jack Sinclair He's got Higgins. Oh, what a mark that is. He had no right to get that footy. Jack Higgins wants to play on and just go back and kick the goal. That was a good effort. Did he just clutch at his hamstring then, Higgins? I'd be interested to see how he kicks this, Das. Just grabbed that right high hamstring, I think. Yeah. He looks OK, though, Bolts, but... It's a good mark, isn't it? You look at the two defenders, you just think Jack Higgins is no chance... He stands up. That's his second goal today. Well played, Jack Higgins. Out to Hill. Kip was looking for Seb Ross, but it's carried further to Membry, and now Ross, an opportunity is good enough from there. It's a beautiful-looking kick. Seb Ross, coast-to-coast -coast goal for the Saints. To centre wing, Butler. Gresham off the ground. Membry, look at them running forward to the ball here. They're out everywhere. Loney over the top. He had a couple of options. He buried them both. And why not when you can kick a goal like that, Tim Membry? For Matt Flynn to think that there's more games to come. We've got this one to focus on now, the Giants. They desperately need the next goal. That was well played. Cumming did well to win the contest. Toby Green found the ball somehow. 
Hand came out, Tanner Bruin back to Callum Ward. Pretty good looking kick. That's the goal they needed. And the former skipper gave it to them. Chance to come on, Toby Green. God, he's a superb player. He just does magic things at the right time. Bobby Hill and finds Taranto. But you have to go back to Toby Green again. And he's just inspirational. Big goal and one of the young stars, Tim Taranto. Can he do the same? It's steering right. He's got it home. Back-to-back -back goals for the Giants. That little handball from Billings Gresham. Can he get a handle back on it? Beautiful pick up in the yep. end. Well played from the little man to the goal square. Front and centre. Josh Battle got it and jammed it home. Premiership. Play with the Cats also on the board of the Giants. Great there, Jimmy. Give us some insight. Harry Hilberg did well in the one-on-one. -on -one. And you mentioned before, Jimmy, that uh, no Jeremy Cameron. And so a lot of afternoon. This is a massive kick right on the eve of three-quarter time. Himmelberg steers it home. Goal for goal. McKernan to the jumper. Slapped it forward. Uh, Which way is that going? It's going the way of the Giants. Himmelberg. No, nah, I'm seeing a flag. And, and this was no, the umpire. He was a fair way away. He wasn't the yeah. ruling umpire, does. Himmelberg's kick. <laughs> ben Long's playing on Toby Green. Toby's trying to take the footy. <laughs> just Toby here. said you were holding me as well. Stand there. Must go up and down. So oh, Harry Himmelberg. Yep. We've spoken about him yep. stepping up into the big shoes of Jeremy Cameron. 15 gone, just up and down. He's already got a couple of goals. This one, really no angle to worry about. Distance not an issue. And Himmelberg delivers. He's got three. Get out the back, he's got through, he got past, and just a little sandwich. He's a touch short, picked up nicely by Himmelberg. Hopper, chance coming up, Jacob Hopper has kicked. A huge goal. Going to be Lockie Keith and Josh Battle. A little bit undersized, Josh Battle. The bigger man wins the day, Jack Higgins. To Loney, these dangerous small forwards. Loney's bent that around. Miracle goal, Jack Loney. Something from nothing. Finished by Loney, and you called it, Dar. So it almost defies logic. Normally, when you snap it, it will keep swinging away from goal when you're taking that snap. It, it, it's almost come off his boot like a drop punt. As it's hit the apex, it's done. He Flynn with the spoil, didn't even jump to Borch. He almost threw it. Funny sort of handball it was. Butler over the top. Got a hand to it in the spoil. Otherwise, he would have been penalised with the free, probably. But the mark has been taken here by Ross. Wants to get onto the left foot. Only about three metres from the man on the mark, and that's part of the new rule coming into vogue, and the kick is good, and Ross drills it. So the Saints back in front by a point. Found some space in the contest, and Membry, Taylor elected to mark. And Membry's been really good today. Moment, a big moment. Tim Membry's been superb. Goal number three for Membry. Did Buckley. Doesn't matter. They've still got it. Hopper as well. Goes inside 50. Here. Good ball to Keith in the lead. Lockie Keith. Have to kick it about 50 metres. Keith he looks a little uncertain in his own mind about the distance. The ball's been camped over the other side of the ground. The Giants can't get uh, Harry Himmelberg or Taranto onto the ground at this point. Only five rotations left for the Saints as well. Wow. I reckon he can give this a shake, Lockie Keith. So five rotations left for the Saints with four and a half minutes to play. Got to be careful how you use them. Man on the mark, can't move. Good looking ball, that'll come back. That's a goal. Lockie Keith has kicked the goal and they are back within real touchdown. Just a one-point game. Lockie Keith. He's got to go quick and he's got to be brave and he just didn't leave. Butler coming in. And Ward. 
if you've had prior. If you've had prior, you're not successful with the yeah, didn't tackle. He bumped him. Bumpy's not tackling. Time back on. That's not a tackle. Clara, please. And you can hear Cal Ward with that explanation as well. Is that... Clara, Sean. I wasn't tackled, Cal Ward saying, and Elaney saying, you need to dispose of the ball correctly. So it's Bumpy a big, Dan. big call. I agree with Cal Ward. Dan Butler put the pressure on, and he can ice the game now. He was their leading goal kicker last year. If he misses, we know that the ball can go coast to coast. So Butler's got a big kick. He's been called to play on. And Dan Butler delivers. And the Saints might have just pulled off a huge round one victory in the state. Their fans are loving it. Look at that. So the Saints are going to win it. They've kicked four out of the last five goals to do it. At the start of this quarter, the Giants kicked the first two, and it looked how far. And the Saints have had a big win here. Fantastic win in incredibly trying conditions. What a game. Got the song going, not worrying about any of that, but that'll be no score. So in the end, the Saints 13-8-86 and the Giants 11-12-78 does. Fantastic performance. The Saints will be excited by their big interstate win. They beat the Giants at home and the margin was eight points on Sunday footy. What a great win on the road by the St Kilda Football Club.